Today, we'll be diving into the world of color grading by recreating the iconic look of the Dune movie right here in DaVinci Resolve. Welcome to the Resolve Store. Before we dive into the details, let's talk about what makes the color grade of Dune so special. It's characterized by its unique blend of warm tones, deep contrasts, and cinematic textures, all of which contribute to its immersive visual experience. So we have two footages on our timeline, the first one is indoor and the other one is outdoor. In order to truly capture the essence of the Dune movie's visual style, it's essential to address both indoor and outdoor shots. This ensures consistency in the overall look, regardless of the setting. By understanding how to adapt color grading techniques to different environments, you'll be equipped to create a cohesive and professional result that mirrors the film's iconic aesthetic. Let's start working on the outdoor shot first and try matching the shot with the reference shot. Comparing both the shots, you can clearly see that the footage is not balanced properly. The sky is tilted heavily towards blue, and the footage overall is shifted towards green. Let's start working on it. When initiating our color grading process, we'll kickstart with Juan LUT, our custom Dune-inspired LUT, which is part of the Cinematic X Color Grading LUT Pack. Juan serves as our homage to the cinematic brilliance of Dune, encapsulating its unique color palette and mood. By applying Juan as our starting point, we provide a solid foundation that instantly transports your footage into the realm of Dune's visual universe. From there, you'll have the flexibility to fine-tune the look. You can see the grade is in the ballpark of our target shot. Add a serial node before which will help us in balancing the footage. We will be using the offset wheel, shifting towards magenta color and tilting away from green as there is too much green in the footage. Let's check our progress till now. We are a little close, but a lot to be done. Add a serial node before the balance node and let's work on the hues. As you can see, the major data is stored under yellow, so to affect the color of sand, we will be adjusting the hues of yellow and try to match the reference shot. Also, we'll be adjusting the hues of red. Now we'll be decreasing the saturation of cyan using the hue versus saturation curve to affect the color of the sky. As you can see, cyan holds much more detail of the footage too, so let's adjust its hues. Great! Now we just need basic tuning to achieve the final look. Add a serial node before the LUT node, and let's play with the highlights a little. We will name this node Fine Tune. Let's push the highlights a little towards red. Perfect. We have easily achieved the look. We nailed that Dune movie look using our Juan LUT, right? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take it even further with our Cinematic X Color Grading LUT Pack. This pack is a game changer, offering a whopping 335 unique looks that'll instantly elevate your visuals. So if you're craving that Hollywood vibe for your projects, Cinematic X has got you covered. Don't miss out, check the link in the description for more details. Now let's start working on the indoor footage. As you can see, the background leans towards blue and the skin tones appear overly red. In contrast, the reference shot displays a balanced background with warm skin tones. Applying the Juan LUT gets us closer to the desired color space, but we need to address the overly saturated skin tones and excessive contrast. Let's refine it. We'll begin by adding a serial node before LUT node to adjust the contrast. And add another node before contrast node to fix the saturation using the hue versus saturation curve. By targeting the red and yellow tones, we'll achieve a more balanced look. Add a serial node before the contrast node for additional adjustments. To further enhance the midtones, we'll adjust the color wheel, lowering the gamma. and raising the shadows. 
This helps to counteract the overall decrease in color intensity. As we fine tune, it's crucial to address any oversaturation in the red and yellow channels. A slight adjustment using the hue versus saturation curve brings us closer to our desired result. Almost there. Let's enhance the highlights to mimic the luminance on the subject's face. And also fix the shadows by shifting it a little towards blue. There you have it! With the Wan LUT from our Cinematic X collection, Recreating the mesmerizing color grade of the Dune movie in DaVinci Resolve is not just possible, it's a certainty. Don't miss out on subscribing for more tutorials like this one, where we delve deeper into mastering DaVinci Resolve and unlocking its full potential. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.